welcome to Meet the Candidate 2021. Uh, my guest for this interview is Jeanette Soliai, who is running for the West Valley School District School Board. Uh, welcome, Jeanette. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, tell me about where you, uh, where you grew up and went to school. So I actually grew up in the West Valley School District, and I attended five of the West Valley schools. My family moved around a couple of times, but we always stayed in district. So um, that was, it's, a, it's a cool experience to be running for the board now in the district I grew up in. Okay. That's, that sounds like a, a nice Spokane Valley upbringing there. And yeah. when you were a kid, was there some uh, early job experience that you had that, that helped you connect um, the world of work to, the, to, uh, to getting paid for the effort? Yeah, so um, interestingly enough, my first job was at the West Valley School District office as a secretary for their um, media outreach uh, individual there. And following that, I... Um, went on um, at that same time frame. I was volunteering as part of the Spokane Lilac Association. I was representing West Valley High School as their Lilac Princess. And I gained a lot of connections with the Davenport and some other local businesses. And that's after high school, those are the jobs that I went on to take were in some of these industries um, in hospitality downtown here in Spokane. Well, networking is often key to a to successful life. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. So did you do some other training or education after West Valley High School? I did. So I went on, um, I, I moved around a lot. I actually moved to Texas and was a nanny. I moved to Utah and, and attended school there and university level. I lived in Iowa and Illinois for a little while doing um, some volunteer uh, work outreach there to help out with some underprivileged communities. And um, when I finally married and settled down, I told my husband, I'm up for wherever. And he's from Hawaii. And when we came to visit my folks back home here in Spokane, he said, I love Millwood. I love Spokane. We should settle down here. And after we had our first baby, we, we came back to Spokane. So That's a nice. I'm sure your parents were thrilled. Oh, they were. <laughs> Definitely. Have the grandkids close. Yes. So what are some things that you observed in, in, uh, in that moving around that you brought back with you that, that helped shape your point of view? Yeah. Um, one of the things that I would kind of consciously and subconsciously do every place I went is compare it to my own upbringing. Mm -hmm. And um, I found that the places I felt more successful and more welcome were the places that had a sense of community or a point that you could kind of rally around. And for me, coming back home to Spokane, um, that rallying point is really been the district. My my dad graduated from West Valley High School, and he and I, as alumni, would go to the the football games and things, and try and still volunteer um, where we could. And and I think that community is really, um, it's that thing that a lot of us crave and that we need. Mm -hmm. You you mentioned you mentioned children. Yes. And you have do you have one or one or more? I have two. Yeah, I have two boys. Two boys and, yep. and they're in the West Valley School District. I they are preschoolers, so they're not in the school system yet. But headed that way. Yes, yes. Well, that's uh that's a lot of people get involved in uh, school board or in school activities once their kids actually get in the district. What inspired you to step up to run for the school board? That's a great question. Um for me, it was it was actually my dad. Uh, he had had a few neighbors and, and community members approach him and say, hey, you know, this last go around, we didn't really have a lot of choices for the school board. We think that you'd be great. Um, why don't you run the next time our district has a position? And he turned and he said, you know what? I don't have kids that are going to be in the district, but you know who does? My daughter. She's got some experience with, you know, being out with people. Um, uh, I'll back her if she wants to run. And so he called me up and said, hey, I've got a few friends that, that would be down if you'd be interested in running. And it, it became a, a partnership between us. That's a nice father-daughter project. Yes. <laughs> well, I'll go ahead and bring us to that, that last question, which is to ask you directly, why should people vote for Janet Soliai for West Valley School Board? Thank you. Um, I would hope that people would vote for me when I looked at who was sitting on the school board, I didn't see any current parents. And um, that's a perspective that I think we need on the school board. Someone whose kids are going to be in that system benefiting uh, from what's going on and happening there. And um, I, I, my family is a multicultural family, and I didn't see anyone that represents that either. And I would hope that people would vote for me as a voice to represent you as a mom or a dad 
um, as maybe someone from a background that's a little different than the average um, in, in the Spokane area. So. Okay, hey, well, um, thank you, Jeanette, for coming in. You've got uh, deep roots in West Valley School District and uh, a lot of travel experience to bring back with you. So I wish you good luck with your campaign. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate being here. What does it mean to be awake? It means to truly understand the issues facing us and actively participate as a citizen in this country. One way you can do that is by voting your values based on the Word of God. We believe We Vote has done the research and provides you the information you need to make an informed decision on which candidates will champion our values and work for us. Now is the time to rise up, get involved, and vote. We believe WeVote.com. Hello, Spokane. This is Governor Mike Huckabee. I'm going to be speaking at We Believe We Vote's October 2nd fundraiser. It's more important than ever for Christians to come together and to vote. I'm looking forward to seeing you on October the 2nd of this year. For tickets to the event, go to WeBelieveWeVote.com.